Before starting this video, we just want to thank you for supporting our channel. It truly means a lot to know what a wonderful community we've built together. Without further ado, let's get to today's topic on the effects of growing up with a single parent. Although having two parents in the picture is definitely beneficial for kids growing up, it's not always the case. There are many children today who are going through life with just a single parent, and when they reach adulthood, many of them become highly successful, happy individuals. Both negative and positive psychological effects of having a single parent have been studied extensively. Interestingly, many new studies suggest that divorce in particular might not necessarily be the root cause of psychological issues, despite previous schools of thought. Instead, these issues might simply be the result of traumatic memories in general. Let's check out seven effects of growing up with a single parent. Boys tend to be more idle in young adulthood. Sometimes, specific genders seem to react in different ways to growing up with a single parent. In terms of boys, some studies have suggested that they're more likely to be idle in young adulthood. This includes things like being unproductive and even dropping out of school. While boys are more likely to experience this, it can definitely happen with girls as well. Girls are at a higher risk for teen pregnancy. Multiple surveys and studies have shown a link between single-parent homes and teen pregnancy. While unplanned pregnancies aren't always a bad thing, teen pregnancies in particular can involve certain issues and complications, such as lack of financial opportunities and access to higher education. Some have theorized that this correlation is due to the lack of a male figure in the household, which can have negative psychological effects on a young girl. Single-parent families can actually be more beneficial in some cases. With more and more children growing up in single-parent households, more research is being done on not only the negative effects, but also the positive ones. Some studies have pointed out that in some cases, a single-family household can actually be more beneficial. The main example would be an extremely stressful two-parent home versus a peaceful, relaxed single-parent home. When there is extreme conflict, violence, or stress in a two-parent home, a single-parent home is actually a much more beneficial environment for the child. That's definitely something worth keeping in mind as we list some of the negative effects here. Kids with a single parent might end up having a stronger relationship with that parent. There's always a very special bond that forms between children and their parents. But one study suggests that in a single-parent home, that relationship could potentially be even stronger and unique in a way that is unseen in two-parent homes. Not only is the relationship often stronger in this situation, but the children and parents are more dependent on each other, more affectionate, and more likely to work together towards a common goal. Before we continue to the next point, we want to share with you a recommended video from BetterHelp. Hesu talks about seven ways to overcome emotional neglect. If you find yourself to be somebody who suffered from emotional neglect, you may want to check it out after this video. Kids with single parents might end up being less satisfied in life. In a slightly alarming study, research was done on tens of thousands of individuals to test their overall feeling of satisfaction in life. The study found a small but persistent decrease in life satisfaction among those who had grown up with a single mother throughout childhood. They found that these individuals were less likely to experience educational and economic success and good physical health. Additionally, they found a connection between single mother childhoods and unmet relationship goals. But remember, there was only a small decrease in life satisfaction when compared to those with two parents. There could be an increased risk of psychiatric issues. There's a huge wealth of scientific literature which states that single-parent homes are a risk factor for a number of mental health issues in children, including depression and psychological distress. Once again, we're not saying this happens to all children in these situations, but there's definitely a link. Also, we have to mention that the trauma of potentially negative memories might be the root cause, not necessarily single-parent homes specifically. Children with single parents benefit immensely from a strong relationship with their grandparents. Let's end things with something positive. What can be done to avoid some of these negative effects and help children in these situations? One study suggested a perfect solution. 
encourage a strong relationship with the child's grandparents. Their recent study discovered that this simple act can considerably boost social skills and help reduce behavioral problems in adolescents. This is a great example of how psychological research can really help those in need. What do you think about kids growing up in single-parent homes? Do any of our viewers have first-hand experience with these situations? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for your continued support.